Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, please keep in mind this is your general reading for the month of August. I shall be doing out your monthly reading and completely weeklies as well and this is going to be a general group reading so please pick it up what resonates with you, please leave the rest for others. And you know very well that in case you want to connect with me for a personal private healing, a reading, you want to learn tarot or healing courses, my email ID is mentioned in the description box below and it also has the website which has all the details. All the appointments are pre-booked and pre-purchased. Now if you really like what I do, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Please take it as a group reading. I see a lot of comments, people explaining their you know, watching the videos, then explaining their situation in terms of what is resonating, what is not resonating. It's a group reading for particular sun, moon and the rising sign. So it's for everybody out there. Angels and spirits, sun, moon and rising Capricorn, August 2022. We do have two flyers. We have anxiety and we have the caring connections. Okay. Let us see what messages do we have from angels for you. Angels and spirits. Angels and spirits. Angels and spirit. You have if you believe. That's a lovely confirmation. Let us see what messages do we have from your weeklies. Angels and spirits. What do we need to know from your week, please? Week one. Week two. Week three. And week four. Okay, let me also pull out your tarot accordingly. And I shall be pulling out the crystal and the oracle messages in the end. Angels and spirits, what do we need to know for Capricorn? What do we need to know? You have week one, week two, week three, week four. And a clarifying card for week one as well because of four of swords here now if you see the overall energy it's a mixed month capricorn you do have anxiety stress fear you know when i'm holding this card you're not sure about something which is giving you anxiety stress or goosebumps in that manner something which you want by heart desperately but you're not getting it or something which is just available visible from your eyesight but you're not able to hold it or grab it or catch it out that kind of anxiety is going on in your mind body and soul and this could be anything this could be something going on in a relationship you want to get settled down with a person of your love or choice it is also getting something smooth in your professional life, getting a big deal. But this anxiety and this stress is, is actually going through or making you or bringing a lot of complexes into your mind. This is what I am sensing from the card of anxiety. Now, in order to handle this situation, you also have lot of caring connections into your life you have your well-wishers you have your family you have your friends to support you during this time of turmoil and when i see these two cards together it says that your worry is definitely unnecessary you are you need to work upon on your own visualization on your own manifestation you need to work on, on your own thought process. You need to be sure of your positive affirmations that yes, I do deserve this. Keep on saying what you want Capricorn. The anxiety will not only will vanish, but you will actually manifest something which you want in reality. 
and that's the crux of the card of the anxiety in the reading and you are definitely going to get it i this card just slipped out of my sight i just saw that the angels also want to tell you the same fact which i'm telling you that you need to believe what you want you need to be sure of your affirmations you need to be sure of your will power that what you need you can actually visualize and manifest and you can get that so it is it is you believing into something your belief system is going to work your belief system is going to bring miracles your belief system is going to help you in surrendering to divine and ultimately you will see that you are receiving what you want to have it's a very powerful thought process in week 1 you have the moon which says moon brings confusion moon bring, brings illusion dilemma into making a choice but moon is also a situation wherein you need to work upon your intuition your inner self your inner guidance into that situation of dilemma moon is also a situation where you have somebody in your circle very close and i'm not talking about the caring connection you need to bifurcate you need to filter who is good for you who is not so good for you who are your well wishers and who are not so well wishers you need to differentiate between the type of people you are having into your life this is personal and professional both because there is somebody who is backstabbing you you need to filter the people accordingly it says the opportunity to improve your plan listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger in this situation the card which is clarifying is four of sword which says that because of this anxiety stress you are mentally emotionally exhausted and four of sword is a card of rest rejuvenation taking a back seat from the problem right at the moment and just allowing things to unfold on its own don't be so aggressive in taking any action which you feel oh this is not happening that is not happening and you start talking to people start taking actions aggressive no it is definitely the situation is creating little confusion hold on try to get relaxed try to get at peace try to withdraw from the situation relax a bit a little bit mentally emotionally socially physically and then see how things are unfolding on its own and the card which is clarifying four of sword is 10 of wands which says a tough situation for which you have only taken responsibilities on yourself capricorn you are taking too much on yourself this i have to do that i have to do somebody else work also i have to do somebody else needed duties and responsibilities are my duties and responsibilities you are taking too much on yourself and on your shoulders you need to keep a watch of it but the overall situation is going to come to an end very soon in week 2 you have the emperor now if you see your reading you have both the major arcana cards in week 1 you had the moon now you have the emperor and and the number 4 and the emperor says that it's time for you to get the rock solid materialistic stability into your life when i say materialistic stability stability in money relationships career finances and overall materialistic stability of your life and for that it says you need to be practical logical and rational and it says stability and efficiency taking charge of a situation ambitious ambitious plans and it is being clarified by nine of pentacles yes here comes the solution to the much needed weighted problems or situations nine of pentacles is a card which says that all your materialistic problems relationships money your finances the flow of your money your bread and butter everything is going to come into control nicely and you are just one step behind from 10 of pentacle which is a wish fulfillment card for you in week 3 you have 6 of michael though you are moving forward but you are moving forward with little complexes into your mind uh retaining mental emotional blockages some complexes some guilt some unpleasurable or un you know not so happy moments not so uh, good moments in your mind you are retaining that memory which is giving you pain and hurt all the time 
you need to let it go here in week three you need to let it go because you have to make space for something better to come into your mind and body it says it's light at the end of the tunnel breathe a sign of relief and make new plans reallocation or travel if you see the card closely i always tell you guys that a boat a yacht always give you a signal for travel a signal for journey for better and even water is a sign here in any card is a sign of travel that you are moving from one place to the another place and you are moving to a new location for sure this is going to be falling into your benefit and the card which is clarifying week 3 is knight of wand which is again a very fast forward movement movement in your activities in your relationship in stagnant work in stagnant communications things to move faster for sure week 4 you have six of ariel so you do have archangel michael and archangel ariel into your reading and archangel is the angel for give you balance into your materialistic life i do see that the overall reading is actually giving balance and strength to your materialistic needs of the life and the relationship as well it says material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways acts of kindness giving or receiving with a grateful heart now look at the card here it says that your wish is going to get fulfilled magically and unexpectedly the moment you are not going to ex- uh, you know you are not expecting that it is going to come true you are going to receive it soon it is being clarified by the fool now you do have three major arcana cards here the moon and the emperor and fool is definitely a new beginning leap of faith taking risk but calculated risk the only precaution when you are having this card into your reading is that you need to be careful careful of falling careful of be fooled by other person careful of not following your regular you know the traditional path or the path which which is is full of risk and without taking precautions or guidance from your well wisher you're just moving on on the journey and path just like that so take calculated risk because you are going to begin a new journey by the end of august end this new journey is needing is it is required or the new journey requires risk from your side the risk has to be calculated you need to take each and every step carefully you can't just run on your new path without the guidance or any support system if you have well wishers listen to them if you have seniors listen to them because fool has an habit of falling if not uh, if over listening or over assuming things or not listening to experienced people or senior people or well wishers you have all the capabilities and competencies to carry the new decided mission for yourself when you have fool and this says that you surrender completely to the divine that whatever path is coming to you is being given to you by divine intervention so fool has a lot of things to share but it is a major arcana card in a reading and in the deck otherwise it's a first card in tarot deck and it says that there is a new powerful beginning for which you have competencies you are skilled you are mature you are competent enough to move on to that new journey that is what all the fool tells it's a very powerful reading there's a lot of movement now fool is also a card of travel a card of movement because fool is traveling it's a birth a creation of something new capricorn and you are you are creating something new you're making something new you're making a new journey new path so traveling journey new journey new movement is sure for you 100 person and it's a major arcana card here now i do want to have a look at your crystal card let us see which crystal is going to work for you and what is the message related to that crystal i do i'm seeing if i'm getting any number for you or any vibrations for any number i'll see just in couple of moments if i'm getting any number though i'm getting number 4 9 and 1 so far angels and spirits what message do we need to know from 
I have got two cards for your crystal. One is the fluoride. It says natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you natural, attractive, lovable inside and out. And the other card for you is appetite. It says progress. Yes, because there are a lot of moments. So you are you're bound to get a progress, but it says not perfection. You're still on the path of practice, practice, practice by this moment. It says don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus, focus upon how far you have come on your way and all that you have learned from your experiences and exposure. Now let us see what oracle messages do you have. Then I'm going to read the angel number 491 for you. Angels and spirits, what do we need to know? The messages for you. Wandering path, enjoy the journey. Now you have got a clear signal and a message that there is a powerful journey ahead. And the next card is wondrous universe. Walk in the beauty of the universe. Allow the universe to play on its own. And you have rejuvenating rain. It's a shower. It's a blessing coming to you. Clear the past and heal the pleasant. Allow the past to go. Because when I was explaining you six of Michael, I was telling you to let go the past. Let go all the mental, emotional or physical blockages you have for something. It's time for you to explore the journey of the fool here. That's a new journey altogether. Now let us see what message do we have with angel number 491. Angels, what do we need to know with number 491? And it says, the more positive you are about your career, the better everything goes. It is about a very, very strong message for all of you. Your own positive thoughts and your own positive affirmations are going to play miracle for you. So dear friends, that was your detailed reading for the month of August. Do let me know how you resonated with it. I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.